Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, happy Friday to you. This is Ryan Jackson from RyanJacksonLLC.com. And um, hope you're having a good day. Um, it's the start to the um, holiday weekend. Fourth of July is on Sunday. But I think uh, most of the government offices and banks are going to observe it on Monday. And so I uh, hope you have a good weekend. Um, I don't celebrate the fourth. You know, as far as I'm concerned, that's not black people's holiday. Uh, we were, you know, in bondage and, and were enslaved during the so-called, quote unquote, independence day, you know, um, for America. So it's not my holiday. And as far as I'm concerned, it's not black people's holiday. But that's another conversation for uh, another day. In any event, uh, I'm going to jump into the topic for this episode. And this uh, Shakari Richardson has tested positive for marijuana. Uh, she tested positive last month at the Olympic trials in uh, Oregon for competing for the 100 meters um, in the Olympics in Tokyo, which is which are being held later this month. She apologized uh, for testing positive. You know, she didn't deny it. She apologized, said that, you know, she let herself down, let the community down and what so have you. And while, you know, I'm disappointed that she won't be able to compete and that she's been banned. She uh, also, you know, I think you have to take into consideration that marijuana is legal in most states in America, and it's definitely legal in Oregon, and it's it's legal here in California. So yes, the the uh, IOC has a uh, anti-doping policy. However, marijuana did not increase her or enhance her performance. Marijuana is a calming drug. It doesn't enhance anything. It's to calm you. Alcohol, (laughs) a lot of people say, is a calming uh, enhancer. I beg to differ because, well, I beg to differ on that because alcohol affects uh, people in different ways. And we know a lot of people get drunk, <clears throat> get angry, get violent, want to start fights. We've seen it happen many, many, many times. Lord knows I have. You know, a lot of people, when they drink and they get drunk, they are, they turn into a worse person than they are when they're sober. And some people, you know, it calms them down and soothes them. Like I said, it, handle, it, uh, it affects people in different ways, but alcohol is worse than drugs. So if Shakari Richardson had said, you know, I um I got drunk and cause you know at the Olympic trials and you know I did this and I did that would it be excused? I mean with the IOC bannered in, and then you know Shikari Richardson go, had gone on to say that her reason for taking marijuana in the first place was to help her cope with the death of her biological mother. I I get that. I totally get that. Like I said, marijuana is a calming drug. It helps you, you know, mellows you out. And it's legal in many states, including Oregon, which is where the Olympic trials were held last month. So, I mean, I get it. People cope with uh, their problems in different ways. I can't tell this young lady, hey, you know, you, you shouldn't have, you know, smoked weed, you know. You, you know, you should have, you know, talked to somebody. Maybe she didn't have felt she didn't have one to speak to. Maybe she felt her best way to calm was, was, was marijuana. What if it wasn't marijuana? What if it was alcohol? She got drunk. Got drunk as a skunk. God forbid, you know, she would have, you know, hurt herself or hurt someone else. Then we would be having a different conversation. But I bet you the IOC, when it came down hard on her, as they did with her smoking marijuana, am I right or am I absolutely right on that? I mean, come on. Let's be honest. And I have a problem with the IOC because they're they're a bunch of hypocrites. You know, they want to hide behind this standard that they're, you know, moral, you know, that, that they're the moral authority. That you know they know what's best for the athletes when they don't want they're banning um, black swimmers from wearing uh, hair bonnets 
from wearing bonnets to protect their hair while they swim. Tell me that ain't racist. I heard a report on the news this morning where uh, African athletes are being banned from Olympic competition, where African female athletes are being banned from Olympic competition because they're not deemed feminine enough. Are you kidding me? They're not being deemed as feminine enough, so they have to take birth control pills to prove their feminicity? Are you kidding me? But yet you want to sit up here and be and, and can and call yourself the moral standard. Oh, and can we go back to you know fifty plus years ago when the IOC stripped John Carlo, John Carlos, and uh, Tommy Smith of their um, medals for displaying the black fist? Tell me that wasn't racist. Even though that was 1968, we can't forget about that. That was 53 years ago. At the Olympic Games in Mexico City, John Carlos and Tommy Smith raised a black fist and were stripped of their gold medals. I mean, come on, let's be real. Let's put it out there. So, you know what, F the IOC and their moral standards, because they, they don't have any. They have no ground to stand on. No ground whatsoever. So I feel bad for uh, Shikari Richardson, I really do. Shikari, Shikari Richardson, sorry. Shikari Richardson, I, I, I feel bad for her, for that young lady. Um, she's 21, so she'll learn from this, but I get it. I understand. Her biological mother had passed, and that was the way she thought was best to handle her. her you know, her grief was to, you know, smoke weed. You know, I get it. I understand. I may not have done that, but it isn't about me and what I would have done. And it's not about you or what you would have done either. Let's support this young lady, because she needs it. Let's stand behind her. You know, um, so like I said, marijuana is not a performance enhancer. Now, had she took a performance enhancer, then that would have been a different story. Then, yeah, then I could see them banning her then. But she didn't. She took something to help her cope with her grief of losing her biological mother. And that should be taken into consideration. The weed had nothing to do with her performance. Had nothing to do her with her smoking those other women on the track. Had absolutely nothing to do with that. So let's have common sense here. Which the ILC, we know they don't have. You have to exercise some common sense. Um, she can still compete in Olympics in like a group event, like the relay race, like in a relay race or something like that. But as far as individual competition, she's banned from that. And I think that stinks. I don't agree with it. I think it, it you know, it sucks all the above. Because I believe had this been a white woman, then they would have changed the rules. So, you know, I may be wrong on this whatsoever, you know, whatever. But as far as I'm concerned, and in my humble opinion, I believe if this was a white woman that had done this, they wouldn't have made a big deal about it. I don't know. I may be wrong, but I don't think I am. That's just me. People say, you know, you want to make it all about race. Well, guess what? Y'all made it all about race. So, damn it, it is all about race. The world is a racist place. The world is about race. So miss me with that, with that, you know, hypocritical BS. But like I said, I feel sorry for this young lady. My heart goes out to her. Um, sorry, you know, my condolences go out, out to her, her family, her loved ones, 
and the loss of her biological mother. Um, I hope God grants her peace and solace and will be with her. And we should stand behind her and support her. And she will learn from this and um, be able to compete in other events and be and, and smoke the, the, the pants off, you know, her competition. So she could come, she, she'll come back strong from this. Um, um, I have faith in that. I think she's a strong young lady. And like I said, you know, my condolences to her, you know, the loss of her biological mother. I don't know what their relationship was or, or wasn't, you know, but, you know, losing a parent is hard. I, know I, I lost a, I lost my father, my father and my stepfather. So that's hard. That is hard. I can imagine losing my mother, but I could speak to losing a father. Someone, you know, that, you know, raised you and brought you and, you know, had a, had a, uh, very instrumental in your upbringing. That's a painful thing. So I could definitely relate to her on that. But she will recover from this. And I still think this stinks. It's not right. It's not fair. And yes, I know, I understand that the IOC has a dope, an anti-doping policy, but that's for perhaps performance enhancing drugs. Maybe it's for marijuana. I mean, I don't know, but marijuana is legal. They have to take that in consideration too. Marijuana has been legalized, especially like in states like Arizona, I mean, uh, California, Oregon, Washington state. In most states in the US it's legal. So, I mean, take that in consideration. They probably won't, but if this was a white, you know, athlete, then they would. But this is the world we live in, and we know as black people, it's not built on fairness. It never, never has, never has been, never will be. This is the nature of the world. Well, in any event, um, I'm gonna hop off of here on this subject. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, share this episode uh, on social media. Let's get it out there in the algorithm. Feel free to comment. Let me know your opinion. You heard mine, but I want to know yours. So please feel free to comment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like the uh, videos. And um, that's all. And I hope you have a great weekend. Until next time, love y'all. Take care. God bless. I'm out. Peace.